Hello everyone, this is Al Red Sox Fan coming to you from Al Red Sox Fan YouTube station. Hope all is well on this Thursday evening. And we're going to bring you, using Action PC Football, the Christmas Bowl between the 1977 Notre Dame Fighting Irish and the 1967 Southern California Trojans. Notre Dame in 1977 went 11-1 and, one and won the national title. USC in 1967 went 10-1 and, and won the national title. This game will be played on USC's home field, Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum, L.A., California. Notre Dame will be led by Joe Montana at quarterback. The F Southern California Trojans will be led by O.J. Simpson at running back. The Juice. Notre Dame running backs are Havens and Ferguson. Wide receivers Haynes and Dickerson. Tight end McAfee. Quarterback Joe Montana. The tackles are McDaniels and Foley. Guards are Hughes and Horansky. The center is Huffman for the 1967 USC Trojans. Simpson and Scott are in the backfield. The wideouts are McCulloch and Drake, the tight end Miller. The quarterback is Sog. Tackle Yari and Taylor. The guards are Kasigian and Scarpace. The center is Allman. On defense for the Fighting Irish in 1977, defensive ends Browner and Fry, defensive tight tackles Dyke and Calhoun, outside linebackers Hemcrete and Becker, middle linebacker Golick. The cornerbacks are Bradley and Bergmeier, the safeties Browner and Restick. For the USC defense, defensive ends. Rosovich and Hayho. Defensive tackles Crane and Magner. Outside linebackers Young and Shaw. The middle linebacker Oliver. Cornerbacks Cashman and Dranosek. Safeties Battle and Durek. This should be a clash of titans. Two ancient rivals. The Fighting Irish of Notre Dame and the USC Trojans next on Al Red Sox Fan Channel. Notre Dame and USC go to the center field. The toss or the coin. USC wins the toss. They elect to receive. Deep for the 1967 Trojans, McCulloch, Simpson, um, McCulloch, excuse me, short is OJ Simpson and Loris. Here's the kickoff by Notre Dame. USC will put the return on. And here comes a return. Almost out to midfield. Holding. Receiving team. But the holding call will nullify an excellent return by USC. So Simpson had a very good return. But there was the holding. And that will bring them back on their seven yard line so first and ten on the usc seven 
And let's change the options here for a moment. Game preferences, game display. Team colors. Penalty. Field display. Um, display. Uniform numbers. There we go. So USC will start first and ten on their seven. Split backfield of Simpson and Scott. Under center is Sog. Or Soggy. I think it's Sog. And again, the wideouts, McCulloch and Drake, tight end, Miller. Going to go to O.J. Simpson. Sweep left with the juice. Here comes O.J. around the corner. He only picks up two. Tackle by Golick. The Irish are ready for that one. Brings up second and eight. I will be calling the offense for both teams. The computer will be calling the defense for both teams. So it brings up second and eight from the USC nine. Trap left with Simpson. And Simpson picks up three Offsides, tough yards. Defense. Oh. Five yard penalty. So USC will accept the five yards and he'll bring up second and three as Notre Dame was offsides. Again, split backfield. Screen to Simpson. They set the screen, and they're looking for it picked off. Notre Dame was sitting on the screen. Sock is picked off by Browner, and Notre Dame is in position to punch one in from the USC 11-yard line. We have Manuel Christian Rivera in the chat. He asks how I am. I'm okay. How are you, Manuel? Hope all is well. So Joe Montana and the Fighting Irish in 1977 come out to the field in excellent field position. Split backfield, Havens and Ferguson. The wideouts, Haynes Dickerson, the tight end, McAfee. They'll face a tremendous USC defense. Look at all the 10s and 9s. Everyone's a 10 or a 9, except for Durko, one of the safeties. He's a 6. It's going to be a slobber knocker of a game. Notre Dame will go run counter. Run counter. Havens. Draw. And there goes Havens, and he is smothered for a three-yard loss. That play fooled no one. Hello, Brad. Hope all is well. So it brings up second and 13. And Ferguson, I did not reset the usage. I probably should have because he ran the ball a ton against BC in that other college game. I did the Turkey Bowl from Fenway Park. So we're going to actually have to take Mr. Vegas Ferguson out. And we're going to come with uh, Mitchell. Mitchell is pretty good. Short and quick. Oh my god, that's horrible too. Short and quick to McAfee. Hut, hut. Ah! And... Incomplete. Two guys were on McAfee. The ball was tipped away. Good defense. So it brings up 30 and 13 from the U.S. 14. Notre Dame has only gone backwards three yards. A field goal here is 60% for Reeve and the Fighting Irish. And let's go screen. Wow, that's not going to work either. Short out. Short out to Haynes. Montana back to pass. Here comes a pass rush, and he is brought down for Mr. Ross. Ten-yard penalty. 
and holding on the offense. It will be declined, so the sack will go to Hayhoe. And Notre Dame might be out of field goal range. It's now it's 49% field goal attempt for Reeve. As both these teams have uh, excellent field goal kicking. I mean, excellent defenses. So Notre Dame will attempt the 49% uh, the field goal chance here. Reeve will come out onto the field. Monroe will hold. The snap to set the kick, and he misses wide right. No good. USC dodges the bullet after the interception. And with 12.56 to play, we're still in a scoreless game. Unbelievable. As Brad62 asks, OJ on the, U, on the SC team. Absolutely, the juice is on the SC team. They don't load up with these. I bet I picked up the best college team set, the greatest 144 college teams. And they don't load the, t um, the uniform numbers. So instead of seeing double zero all over the place, on defense you're going to get the rating of the players. And again, outstanding defense for both teams. Actually, Notre Dame has a slightly better defense. Their lowest defensive player is a 7, where USC's lowest defensive player is a 6. Uh, different positions, though. And so this is Simpson right here. Top of the split backfield. So first and 10 for USC on their own 29. They dodge a bullet after the turnover, after the sod interception. And they're going to go dive to Simpson. The juice. And he only gets two tough yards. He's brought down by Bergmeier. That's Bergmeier's first tackle. This is going to be a really hard-fought game here. Again, I'm playing both offenses, and the computer is going to kick the snot out of me on defense. So it brings up second and eight for the USC Trojans on their 31. Let's go play-action pass. Run counter. Um, pitch right, Simpson. Let's see if Simpson can get around the corner. He does, and he's close to a first down. Gain of eight just short by inches. So the play action pass drew the Notre Dame defense in. The pitch out to Simpson. He gets around the corner. He is brought down finally by Becker inches short. Of the first down, so it would bring bring up third and inches on the USC 39. Here in the Christmas Bowl, they will now go I formation. The up back is Scott. Four out of ten run blocker. That's pretty good. Simpson's behind him, and we're gonna go dive. You know Notre Dame knows this is coming. Dive to the juice. Simpson has it, and he's going to get it. Oh, he fell up the ball. Could it be another turnover? Yes. Simpson stripped by Fry after picking up what looked to be a first down and 10. And Golick for Notre Dame pounces on the ball. The Irish have another turnover. First and 10 on the USC 40. Hello, JD in the chat, moderator extraordinaire. Hope all is well. Look forward to your third chapter on YouTube. Brad sixty two Brad sixty two says, I got to get this game out. It really is a great coaching game. Oh, it's it's fabulous. I love this game. So we look like we had the first down, but there's a fumble. So here comes Joe Montana and the fighting Irish offense back out onto the field. Again, I'm coaching both offenses. The computer's coaching both defense. Look at look at this. All 10s and 9s. So this is like 10 out of 10, 9 out of 10. And the, again, the safety, Durko, is the worst player at 6 out of 10, and that's not bad. So we're going to go screen. Screen to Havens. Montana sets the screen up, and he cannot 
Get the pass off. Tremendous pressure applied by the USC front seven. Montana was running for his life. It brings up second and ten from the USC 40. Notre Dame has to try to take advantage of their second turnover. As Brad 62 says, bad karma for OJ there. Ah, I thought I had a good... I was going to go play action fake. Then I said, I'm not going to be stupid and turn over the ball. I'm going to run a very safe play. We should pick up at least a yard and we'll go from there. And he fumbled. So it's a slobber knocker. It's going to be a hard-hitting game as you've seen so far. So second and ten. And let's see. Let's go uh, play action fake, run counter. Pitch right to Havens. There it is. The pitch out to Havens. And he gets around the corner. He's got a lot of running room. A gain of 14. First and 10 for the Fighting Irish. That's basically the same play we ran with Havens that we ran with Simpson. Except Havens picked up a few more yards and the first down. You know the computer's going to be sitting on that play now. So it's first and 10 on the USC 26. First first down of the game for either team. Play action fake, short and quick. To McAfee. Hot. And in Encroachment, defense. Five oh, penalty. excellent. So UF USC was offside. The ball was deflected away by battle, but it does not matter. It'll be first and five now. From the USC 21 for the Fighting Irish in Notre Dame. Montana and the Irish break the huddle. They come up to the line of scrimmage. Short into the flat to Havens. Montana back to pass. Havens is covered. He tries to go downfield. And excellent coverage there by USC. Brings up second and five. Montana 0 for 3. Play action fake, run counter. Trap right. Havens. Hut, hut. There goes Havens, and he is smothered for no gain. That front seven of the Trojans doing an excellent job. Tackle by Hayho. That's his second tackle for USC. So third and five, a field goal here is a 50% chance. Reeve has already missed a field goal basically from the same distance. They need to pick up more yards here. Third and five. Play action fake run counter pitch left. Havens. They're keying that. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna go over the top. Medium fly to Haynes. Montana back to pass. He's looking. He dumps it down. And that's going to be a first down catch. He dumped it down to Havens. He gains 12 yards on the third and five. Brought down by Cashman from USC. That's Cashman's first tackle. So Montana went through his progressions. He saw that the deep ball, the medium fly, was covered and dumped it down to his back. Havens in his first and goal from the USC 9. 9-17 to play here in the first quarter of the Christmas Bowl. From Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum. Notre Dame will go to a wishbone. Formation requires full house backfield. Okay. We're going to go full house backfield. Wishbone. A little something unorthodox here for the Fighting Irish. Not known for the wishbone. We're going to take Ferguson out though. I didn't reset the usage and I used them a ton. Against um, Boston College. So we're going to take Ferguson out. And we're going to bring Stone in. So three backs behind Montana. Mitchell in the middle. Havens to the right. Stone to the left. Now we're going to go read option left 
read option left to stone. Here's the read option. It's given to stone. He busts through and he scores. Touchdown, Notre Dame. Six nothing fighting Irish on the read option left. We went with something different there. We went with a wishbone, unorthodox. USC probably was not expecting that. And that's what you have to do against a great defense like the 1967 USC Trojans. So now it is 6-0 fighting Irish. And here comes Reeves for the extra point. And it's good! 7-0 fighting Irish. They'll be kicking off to the 67 Trojans with 8.29 to play in the first quarter. Back deep is McCullough. Short are Simpson and Lawrence. Here is the kickoff by Reeves. McCullough has it. And he takes it out to about the 35. It's a 14-yard return brought down by Johnson. And here comes USC. They're going to start first and 10 on their 34. Excellent play call by the Fighting Irish there. So here comes... O.J. Simpson in the Trojan offense, once again, they have turned the ball over the first two times they touched the ball. An interception by uh, Sog, and then a fumble by Simpson on a third and inches. Let's see. Now we're going to try USC. Read option right, Simpson. There's the read option. Simpson has a little daylight, but the Notre Dame defense, the front seven closes quickly. Simpson only picks up two yards, and he took a beating on that tackle. Fry will be credited with the tackle for the Fighting Irish. That's his second tackle. 8-14 to play, 7 nothing. Notre Dame here in this first half. So it's second. And eight from the USC 36. Simpson and Scott will stay in the block. We're going to go play action fake. Try to give uh, Sog a little more time to pass. And we're going to go. Bomb post. We're going to really... Oh, that's not even... Now, uh, you know what? We're going to go bomb post to McCulloch. Play action pass. He dumps it down to Scott, and he drops the ball. So Saad quickly saw that the deep pass was not there. He dumped it down to Scott. He might have had some running room, but he dropped the ball. Brings up third and eight for the USC Trojans. 7.39 to play in the first quarter. Going to go play action again. Run counter. Sweep right. I don't like that. Pitch right, Simpson. Oh my god, Simpson gets around the corner! He's got the first down and more as they beat the blitz on that side. Gain of 17 for the juice! The blitz was coming, it looked like. Yes, Notre Dame was in a 4-3 pass. Normal man, three blitzers. They were doubling McCulloch. And the play-action fake pitch right burnt the blitz. Simpson went right by them for 17 yards and was finally brought down by Hemkrichter. And that's his first tackle. Clock running, 7.26 to play in the first quarter. First and 10 on the Notre Dame 47. USC penetrates fighting Irish territory for the first time in the game. We're going to go off tackle left. Off tackle left with Scott. And the ball is given to Scott, and he is smothered. Holding. Offense. Ten yard and there's a holding call after only a gain of one goal accredited with the tackle, but it doesn't matter. The holding was horrible. He only got one yard. 
Backs up USC 10 yards. Brings up first and 20 from the USC 43. Sweep right. O.J. Simpson on the first and 20. Here comes the juice. And he cannot get around the corner. No gain. A flag is thrown but picked up by the men in stripes. Calhoun credited with the tackle for the Fighting Irish. It will bring up second and 20. And that is just, that holding call is just a, a killer for USC. 6.36 to play. 7-0 Notre Dame. They're not going to bite on play action. Screen to Simpson. Back to pass to Sog. He sets up the screen but cannot connect up. The route was broken up by Hemkrichter as he jumped the route and almost had another pickoff for the Fighting Irish. So it's third and 20. On the USC 43, 7-0 Notre Dame here in the first quarter of the Christmas Bowl. 5.53 to play. Simpson will go out wide. Medium slant to Simpson. Zog takes off running. He feels the pressure. He'll pick up about three yards and brought down by Calhoun from behind. And it brings up fourth and 17, forcing USC to punt. And the only good thing about this is they might be able to change the field position here. Clock running, 547 to play in the first quarter. Here comes the punt team for the Trojans. Aldridge comes out. He'll do the punting. He's going to punt deep. Notre Dame has Bergmeier and Schmitz back. Here's the deep punt. Notre Dame fields it. It's a pretty decent return out to about Illegal the... block. Receiving team. And so that 13-yard return will be nullified by the illegal block by Becker of the Fighting Irish. And they have changed the field position now. So Joe Montana and the Notre Dame offense will start first and 10 from their own 11. 7 nothing Notre Dame. Split backfield. Havens and Stone are in the backfield. Haynes and Dickerson the wideouts. McAfee the tight end. Run counter. Trap left. Stone. And they give it to Stone, and Stone busts through. Good God Almighty, did he go flying through that hole. That's a game 21, and finally dragged down from behind by Oliver. Wow, the trap left popped open there for Stone, and he went through there like a hot knife through butter. Clock running, 4.53 to play, first and 10 on the Notre Dame 32. Stone will come out. Ferguson will come in. No. So here comes Ferguson. They're going to go run counter. Again. But we're going to go run counter off tackle right. To Ferguson. There's the run counter. And there goes Vegas Ferguson. Four tough yards. They'll bring up second and six. Durko for USC on the tackle. As Brad62 says, passing was not the forte back then. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. <laughs> Makes the game fun, though. So it's second and six on the Notre Dame 36. 4-11 to play in the first quarter, and we're going to have to take Vegas Ferguson out. Mitchell will come in. Actually, who's going to come in? Uh, Yurik will come in. Again, run counter, play action fake, run counter. Short out. Havens. Hut, hut. 
Play action fake. Montana looking for Havens, and he cannot connect up with him. Broken up by Shaw. Nice deflection by Shaw for USC. It brings up third and six from the Notre Dame 36. Clock stops on the incomplete pass. Montana and the Fighting Irish break the huddle, come up to the line of scrimmage. And Mitchell will come in the game. So it's Mitchell and Havens in the backfield. Third and six. Run counter. Sweep left. Havens. Can he get around the corner? He does, but then he is dragged down by Oliver as it looked like he had that corner and a big gain. Oliver brings him down after only a three-yard gain, and that's Oliver's third tackle. An excellent play there by Oliver. The uh, middle linebacker, he read the play well, and it's now fourth and three, and here comes the punt team for Notre Dame. So Restick comes out to punt. Battle is deep. Restick will punt deep. Battle fields the ball, and he is quickly brought down by Morse. Excellent coverage there. Only a gain of one. So with 2.47 to play in the first quarter, 7 nothing Notre Dame. USC will start first and 10 on their 18. Again, split backfield with uh, Simpson and Scott. The wideouts, McCulloch and Drake. The tight end, Miller and... Sog is the quarterback. I don't think he's completed a pass. He is 0 for 3, and the one pass he did complete was to the other team. It was an interception. USC trails by 7. Play action pass. Bomb fly. We're going over the top. Not a big hitter here, but we're going to try it to McCulloch. Here's a play-action fake, and Sog takes off running. This could be our best offensive play. As he scrambles for seven yards, we'll take that. Our second best, or third best offensive play so far for USC. It's second and three, 235 to play in the first quarter. USC has the ball in their own 25. Dive to Simpson. Here comes the juice up the middle, and nothing there. Illegal chop block. Offense. Oh, my lord. And now a chop block on USC after a loss of one. Notre Dame will accept the penalty. And it brings up second and 16, backing up USC to their own 12. Sweep left to OJ Simpson. Here comes the sweep left. Simpson has some running room, and he picks up eight yards. USC fans cheer at the Coliseum, so it brings up third and eight. Simpson now has eight carries for 40 yards. Ball on the USC 20. The tackle was by Browner. That's his second tackle. From his safety position. Oh no. Our Browner got the tackle from the defensive end position. Excuse me. Alright. Third and eight for USC. Trailing by seven. 140 to play in the first quarter. Run counter. Play action fake. Run counter. Pitch right. To the juice. Hot, hot. There's a pitch out to Simpson, and he does not break the corner the way we wanted. He only picks up four, and it'll be fourth and four. Clock running. 55 seconds of play here in the first quarter. And once again, here comes the USC punt team. And Aldridge is on the field. He's looking to punt deep. Bergmeier and Schmitz deep for the Fighting Irish. Here's the punt. And fair catch by Schmitz. 
At the 36, 12 seconds of play in the first quarter. Notre Dame will start first and 10 on their 36. Joe Montana on the offense back out on the field. Split backfield. And I think what we're going to do here, we have Mitchell and Havens. 12 seconds to go. Full house backfield. Wishbone. A little trickery again. Stone, Mitchell, Havens. Read option right. Read option right uh, with Havens. There's the read option. There goes Havens, and he is smothered at the line of scrimmage. Brought down by Young. And that's Young's first tackle, and that will be it. The end of the first quarter, 7-0 Notre Dame. Notre Dame scored on a nine-yard run by Stone out of, the, out of the wishbone when it was a read option left. And that's the only score of the game. They have missed a field goal also. So we start the second quarter, second and ten, ball on the Notre Dame 36. Brad 62 says, even if you play pass D, an individual player can still make a good play against the run. Realistic. Yes, they can. Yes, they can. You are correct. And th this is going to be, again, worst defensive player, six out of ten. That's not horrible. Notre Dame's worst defensive player, I believe, is one of their defensive linemen. He's seven out of ten. Everyone else is a ten or a nine. So it's gonna be a, it's been a slobber knocker. Notre Dame so far has, you know, obviously put up the touchdown. So second and ten here. Again, they'll stay with the wishbone. Play action. Bomb fly. That's bad. That's not good. Who's the tight end? Where's our tight end? McAfee, 10 plus. Driscoll, 3. They're going to key McAfee, but we're going to play action. Actually, let's go special play. Run pass right. McAfee. They're keen, McAfee. We're going to... We're going to go draw to stone. Hut, hut. Here's the draw to stone, and he busts through! My God, he's got a lot of green in front of him! Holy cow! 39-yard gain as Montana audibles out of the... Uh, uh, the read option pass out of the, the, the wishbone. He gives a draw to Stone. And Stone now has three carries for 69 yards and a touchdown. I thought he was going to go all the way. But Cashman, the quarterback, finally caught him from behind for USC, saving a touchdown. It is first and 10 on the USC 25. USC does not know how to handle this wishbone. And we're going to take Stone out of the game after a tremendous run there. Orsini will come in. And we forgot to load a pitcher for Orsini. A helmet. So let's see if we can do that now. I think we can. And here's Orsini. Click here. And let's just find the helmet. Bear with me a moment. Thrilling stuff, I know. If I don't... Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? 74... Yay! 
we put a helmet on him. You got to play with a helmet, folks. So it's first and 10 on the USC 25. They'll stay in the wishbone. This has been pretty good against this uh, USC defense here. And Mitchell. Uh, read option left. Read option left, Mitchell. Notre Dame, and there's Mitchell, and Mitchell is smothered for no game. The front seven of the Trojans were Johnny on the spot in that read option left. Crane on the tackle. So it brings up second and ten. A field goal here is 53% by Reeve. He's already missed one at 49%. Second and ten. And here comes Vegas Ferguson. Back in the game. Again, we'll stay with the wishbone. Sweep left out of the wishbone. Sweep left, Havens. Here comes a sweep. A lot of blockers out in front of him. And he gets four yards, four tough yards, a lot of good blocking up front, as those were four yards gained through toughness and grit and determination. Brings up third and six. Havens now has six carries for 18 yards. Stone will come back in the game. He has gashed, as Brad62 says. In the chat, he has gashed the USC defense. Here comes Stone. Again, out of the wishbone. Read option. Read option left, again with Stone. Montana fumbles the ball in the read option. He's taking off with himself. He loses one yard. The ball came loose on the read option. Crane will be credited with the tackle. That's his second of the game. 12.37 to play here in the first half. 7-0 Notre Dame. It's now fourth and seven. And the field goal here is 63% chance of success. And here comes the Notre Dame fighting Irish field goal team. Reeve comes out on the field. Monroe to hold. The snap, the placement, the kick, and he again misses wide right. So Reeve has missed two field goals. Notre Dame could easily be up 13 to nothing. That was a 63% chance of making it, and he missed it right. The other one that he missed was a 49% chance. So once again, USC dodges a bullet here. They stay down by a touchdown, and here comes the USC offense, which has not been able to muster much of anything. USC has rushed for 54 yards and passed for none. <laughs> All right, split backfield with Simpson and Scott. Go O.J. Simpson, sweep left with the juice. Here comes a power sweep. Simpson is smothered for no gain. The front seven of Notre Dame is dominating the offensive line of the USC Trojans. The tackle credited to Golick, the linebacker. That's his second tackle. Brings up second and 10, 11.54 to play in the first half. USC trailing by seven. Simpson will go out wide. Scott in the backfield. Pitch right to Scott. There's the pitch out. And Scott is quickly chased out of bounds for a four-yard loss. The Trojans continue to go backwards. The tackle will be credited to Fry on the force out. That's his third tackle. Brad 62, probably a straight-ahead kicker. Those guys were not as accurate. 
most likely correct there, Brad. I do not know, to be honest with you, but I, I think that's a well-educated guess there. So it's third and 14. We're going to go draw to Simpson. There goes Simpson, gain of one. We're hoping to break a big play there. Brought down by Hemtritter. That's his second tackle. So it's fourth and 13. Here comes once again the punter for the USC Trojans. Aldridge, deep as Bergmeier and Schmitz for the Fighting Irish. Here's the snap and the punt. It's field, and he fumbled. The ball comes loose. Who recovers it? USC recovers it. Schmitz had some running room. But Noxesser nailed him. The ball came loose, and Scarpace fell on it for the recovery. And that is the big play the Trojans needed, as it will be first and ten at midfield with 9.55 to play in the first half of this Christmas Bowl at Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum. So quickly, with the offense, they come back on the field. And here's the problem here. You can see the linemen are sevens, which are normally, that's pretty good. You're facing nines and tens. We have a five against the seven here. I mean, that's where we're going to try to attack. That's where we've been trying to attack. Um, let's try You know what? Let's try a little flea flicker here to McCullough. There's the flea flicker. He throws, and he dumps it down. He looked deep. It wasn't there. Sog flipped it to Simpson, who had some running room, gain a 12. So the little trickery produces a first down. Not the touchdown they wanted, but a first down, a 12-yard gain on the reception by O.J. Simpson. It's first and 10 on the Notre Dame 38. The Trojans tra trail by 7. This 1977 Notre Dame defense is absolutely fabulous. They won the national title in 77. And I do believe USC won the national title in 67. O.J. Simpson would win the Heisman the next year, though. I think. All right, first and ten on the Notre Dame 38. Let's go quick pitch. Quick pitch to Simpson. Oh, I went to Scott by accident. There's the quick pitch. Scott finds a little running room. Gain of three. And it's second and seven. The tackle by Dyke. That's the defensive tackle's first bring down. So it's second and seven. Clock running. 8.58 to play in the first half. 7 nothing Notre Dame. And again, let's go with that quick pitch. But this time to Simpson. And there's the quick pitch. Let's see if the Juice can get the corner. No. No gain. Golick, from his linebacker position, comes up and stuffs the Juice right at the line of scrimmage. They were playing a 4-3 run tight man. One blitzer delayed, and they were keying O.J. Simpson. Third and seven. A field goal here is out of range. So it's third and seven. Short and quick to McCulloch. Oh, the blitz brings down Saw Golick on the blitz. Gets him by the leg, and Golick has been a one-man wrecking crew for the Fighting Irish. That's his first sack, and it brings up fourth and 13 on the Notre Dame 41. And here comes the punt team once again for USC with 7.36 to play in the first half. Aldridge will punt deep. He only, he'll, he'll try to pin him in. Average here is about 32 yards. Bergmeier and Schmitz back, so they do not capitalize on the Schmitz fumble on the prior punt. Here's the snap and the punt, trying to pin them back. And it will be rolled dead at the Notre Dame 17, a punt of 24 yards. First and 10 for the Fighting Irish. Here comes Joe Montana and the offense. 
6.47 to play. Notre Dame again will stick with that unorthodox for them. It's worked. Uh, wishbone. You'll have Stone, Mitchell, and Havens in the backfield. Read option left to Stone. He has gashed the USC defense. And there goes Stone. And once again around the corner. And out. Oh, my Lord. He just continues on. A gain of 37. He has four carries for 106 yards and a touchdown. He has totally gashed the USC Trojans as we have Johnny Giants being in the chat. Johnny the King, how are you, my friend? Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, if I don't get to chat with you before then. He says, Al, making some food before bed. Let me, let a man drop a like and a love to a superb gentleman. Well, thank you very much, my king, Johnny the Wildling. Hope all is well with you and yours, as always. And here comes Vegas Ferguson to replace Stone, who has just been absolutely unbelievable. The clock stopped because he was forced out of bounds after a 37-yard gain. So we're going to go quick pitch to Vegas Ferguson on the first and ten. There's the pitch to Ferguson, and he is smothered. Again, no gain. The offense does not move unless Stone is in the backfield. As Brad62 says, wow, as Stone has gashed them. Gashed them, my friends. Clock running, 621 to play 7-0 Notre Dame. The Fighting Irish. Trojans need a stop here. Second and 10. Stone back in the backfield. You know it's coming. They haven't stopped the read option left. Let's see if they can do it now. Here comes read option left with Stone. Here it is. And Stone is finally stoned after only a one-yard gain. Third and nine. Clock running. 5.39 to play in the first half. Trojans trail by a touchdown. Stone will come out. Urich will come in. Screen to Yurik. To Havens, excuse me. Let's see, Montana sets the screen up and it works! And off to the races is Havens! First and 10 after a 32 yard gain. They were in the wishbone. This has been the only success that the Fighting Irish have had is out of the wishbone. It's been unorthodox, but the USC defense does not know how to handle it. As it's first and 10 on the USC 13, Notre Dame is once again in the red zone. And my God, if the Fighting Irish can put up another touchdown, this game could be over with their defense. 7 nothing. clock running, 4.48 to play. Havens now has two receptions for 44 yards. As Johnny Giants paints his Al, the nicest dude... On this, I am harshly honest, so take them words. You earned them, good sir. One love, my friend. Back at you. Back at you. Johnny Giants Bane. Check out his channel. Absolutely wonderful. I got to get over there, Johnny. Just been having a lot of uh, family issues. Mom's in the hospital, so. This helps me relax, actually. Isn't that funny? So who do we have? We got Eurek, Mitchell. Havens, and let's bring Stone back. You know what? Let's bring Vegas Ferguson in. Let's see if we can get him a, a, a carry here. Again, he is... I overused him against the Boston College Eagles. Let's go special plays. Let's go read option right. What's, what's triple option left? Triple option left. That's not going to work for Ferguson. Read option left, Ferguson. Hut, hut. Here's the read option left. Ferguson is brought down after a gain of one. He was nailed by Crane at the 12. Crane literally stood him up, waited for his friends from the front seven of the USC defense who brought him down. And Driscoll was shaken up on the play. He could be seriously injured. Driscoll is sidelined out.
for 30 plus weeks. Ouch. So it brings up second and nine. A field goal here is a 71% chance for Reeve. He's already missed two. They probably want to get much closer. 7 nothing Notre Dame. Clock running. 4.02 to play in the first half. And Ferguson will come out. And the man of the game, Stone, will come in. And we're going to go play action fake. Shovel pass. Mitchell. So play action fake. Shovel pass to Mitchell is incomplete. It was tipped by Young, the outside linebacker. He sniffed that play out. We went to a little trickery once again. As Andre Ford has jumped in the chat. How are you, my friend? Hope all is well. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy Holidays to whatever holiday you celebrate, my friend. Always good to see Andre Ford. Johnny Giants Bay, one love to Al's mom. Always love to the mom. Always remember Al. It is whom I am proud to know you. Thank you very much. This is one love, brother. Keep keep up the good vibes. I... I Thank you very much, John. That means a lot coming from you, man. I appreciate that. All right, third and nine. Field goal here is still... Oh, yeah, it was incomplete, so it was uh, 71% still. We're going to go run counter. We're going to have all kinds of crazy things going on in this play. Play action fake, run counter, read option right uh, to stone. Here it is. There goes Stone. He, oh, he has a good hard run. A gain of six finally brought down by Shaw. It brings up fourth and three, and this is an 81% field goal attempt here for Reeve. If he misses this thing wide right, not even the Priest can save him. So here comes Reeve and the field goal team. Fourth and three. I'm almost tempted to go for it. But I think if we put up three more points, that's going to be really, really, really tough. Uh, again, I'm playing as both offenses. I have to come up with something with USC. So I, we're going to play field goal here. Here comes Reeve. This is his third field goal attempt. Monroe to hold once again. 81.2% chance of making it. The snap, the place, and it's dead center this time. It's good. The 77 Fighting Irish from Notre Dame go up 10-0 over the 67 Southern California Trojans with 3.14 to play in the first half. As Andre Ford says, Merry Christmas uh, to all. Thank you very much, Andre. Oh, Johnny, I always know that. As Johnny says, Wildling will always have you. Don't ever forget. I never do, my friend. Thank you very much. And Brad, 62, stone is hot. Yeah, incredible. I went to the wishbone. Brad, if you want for a ha ha look up if... I don't ever recall Notre Dame running a wishbone. Not, I mean, they might have ran a version of that in the, in the late 70s, but I don't think so. I mean, they ran the ball a ton, but I had to do something different. I have to get USC's offense going. So here's the kickoff. Deep is McCulloch. Short are Simpson and Lawrence. The return is on. Here's the kickoff by Reeve. And here comes McCulloch. Return of 18, spun down by Christensen. So at 3.09 to play, the anemic USC offense comes out to the field. Led by their quarterback, Sog. I don't know how to pronounce his name, so I'm pronouncing it. I don't think it's Soggy. I mean, that's... I, or it could be Soji. I honestly don't know how to pronounce his name. If anyone does, please spell it phonetically. Ah, thank you, Johnny. Thank you very much, Johnny. All right, so first and ten, split backfield. We gotta try something different here. Do we have a receiving back? Yes, we do. Lawrence. Okay, he's a seven out of ten. We gotta try something different here. So actually, let me close that. Lawrence is gonna come in for Scott. Where did he go? Where did he go? Where did Lawrence go? When I clicked on Simpson, oh, I put him in the game. Okay, I don't want him in the game. 
put the juice back in the game. We want Lawrence in for Scott. Where's our tight end? Our tight end's down here. Okay. We're going to move him to the top. We're going to go uh, strong, le uh, strong right. Oh, no. We had him at the top. I'm sorry. We want to stay strong left. That's the tight end. For so I was thinking that's a tackle but because I went with the ratings. Okay. So now we're going to go play action fake. Lawrence. Short. Play action fake. They. Oh, wow. They had that covered. He couldn't. Saw couldn't find an open man. He tried to dump it to Simpson. And it's incomplete. Second and ten with 3.02 to play from the USC 31. Lawrence will go out wide. Rest stick is on him. We have a matchup here, but they're probably playing. They are playing a man, though, and they're going to key Simpson. We're going to go play action fake again. Medium fly, Lawrence. There's a play action fake, and Saw takes off running. He has no time, and the ball is loose. Notre Dame comes up with it, and it's a touchdown. Oh, my God. On the fumble recovery, scooped up by Bergmeier, and he goes all the way. It's now 16 to nothing on the fumble. Holy cow. Let's watch that replay again. So the ball comes loose. Bergmeier picks it up, and look, he's off to the races. 16 nothing Notre Dame. And you can kiss this game most likely goodbye. Here comes the extra point by Reeve. And he makes it. It's now 17 nothing. Notre Dame scores on the fumble by the quarterback, Sog. And, and this is getting ugly quite quickly here at Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum. In the Christmas Bowl. Notre Dame is not full of the Christmas cheer. Well, they are full of Christmas cheer. They're just not giving any Christmas cheer to the USC Trojans. Here's the kickoff to the Trojans. Here comes the return by McCulloch. He's a big return. Gets it out to about the 35. The 39, excuse me. It'll be first and 10. And... Page and Holmgren, yeah, we're gonna have to stick with uh, Sog. All right, we're gonna try screen to Lawrence. Here comes a pass rush. No place in the pocket for the quarterback to go except down to the turf at the Coliseum. Pancake by Hamcrichter, a ten-yard loss. Notre Dame's defense is just totally destroying that offensive line of USC. It's second and 20, clock running with 2.38 to play in the first half. 17 nothing. the Fighting Irish of 1977. Brad 62, great D dominating. Yeah, I just, I can't, I can't muster any offense here for USC. That was a screen, for God's sakes. Okay. Lawrence out wide. Dive. Actually, I don't want to do the dive. Lawrence out wide. 10, 9, 7, 10, 5. Oh, my God. Well, let's go... Play action fake, run counter, quick pitch, Simpson. There it is. Come on. Get that corner, OJ. Gain of eight. We needed more. Third and 12. 201 to play. Clock running. Third and 12. Again, Lawrence to go out wide. We need OJ to break a big play here. Uh, run, play action fake, run counter. They're not going to bite for that, though. But we're going to do it anyway. And quick pitch. Simpson again. 
And the clock hits a two-minute warning, which in actuality, there is no two-minute warning in college football. I forgot to set that rule. So there's a two-minute warning. So it's third and 12 with two minutes of play in the Christmas Bowl. First half, 17 nothing. The Fighting Irish of 1977 over the 67 Southern California Trojans. Third and 12. Lawrence will go out wide. Delay draw. That's not going to work. Standard. Sweep left. Actually, pitch left. Let's see what we got. Simpson. Sweep left. OJ Simpson. The juice breaks it. Come on, OJ. Oh, gain of seven. Brought down by Bertmeyer. Clock running fourth and five. We might have figured out something here. It might be too late, though. Clock is running. 147 to play. Here comes the punt team. Aldridge back out on the field for the Trojans. He'll punt deep. Notre Dame has two men back. Bergmeyer, who scooped up the fumble and ran it in for a touchdown in Schmitz, who fumbled on a punt return. Here's a snap in the punt. And here comes the return. Out to the holding. 30. Receiving team. So a holding call will nullify the 10-yard return. Notre Dame will start first and 10 on their own 13 with a 17-point lead. We're not going to do anything really crazy here. In fact, we're going to take uh, Stone out of the game. We're going to go with Yurik. Going to go with Yurik. So it'll be Yurik and Havens in the backfield. Going to go dive. Havens. Here's the dive play. Up the middle for three yards. Brought down by Young, the outside linebacker of the Trojans. Clock running. We again will not call timeout. We're going to go with the slowdown. Just run this out. And we're going to go trap. Trap. We're going to go off tackle left. Yurik. Off tackle goes Yurik. Gain of four. Clock down to 28 seconds. No play, and that will be the half. Notre Dame will get the ball back first in the second half, and they lead 17 to nothing. They shall receive. Let's quickly go through some stats. Notre Dame scored uh, at the 829 mark. Nine-yard touchdown run by Stone. That's when we ran that uh, wishbone option left. Reeve with the extra point. They had missed a field goal prior to that. Um, USC turned the ball over twice. The first time they missed the field goal, Notre Dame. The second time they punched it in for a touchdown. Then in the second quarter at the 314 mark, Notre Dame uh, kicked the field goal, made it 10 nothing, And then the fumble recovery at the 253 mark, by Bergmeier, ran for 35 yards. I thought they said 20. And that made it 17 to nothing after the Reeve kick. Montana, 2 of 7 for 44 yards. His long pass was just over 25 yards. He's been sacked once. Sog is 1 for 5, 12 yards, 1 interception, sacked twice. His rating is 0. Stone, player of the game so far, 6 carries, 113 yards. He's averaging 18.8 .8 yards a carry. And a touchdown. His long was 39. He has three runs over 10 yards. And then you have Havens, 7 for 21. And in total, the Irish, 19 carries, 142 yards. O.J. Simpson, 14 carries, 60 yards. He has a 4.3 average. And Sog, in scrambling, 3 for 13, 4.3 yards. In total, USC, 19 carries, 72 yards for 3.8 yards a carry. So here comes Notre Dame. Here's the kickoff by USC. Notre Dame has the return. And the return gets past the 40. Close to midfield. And Yurik with an excellent run. 36-yard return. Finally tackled by Oliver. So the Fighting Irish will start off in very good field position. 
As Brad62 in the chat says, USC that year only scored 258 points versus 87 uh, for opponents in 11 games. So split backfield, Urich and Havens. And we're going to go Havens. Sweep left. He's averaging 4.3. And he gets nothing. In fact, he's going to lose three. As Southern Cal was in a 4-3 run, keying Havens. So it's second and 13. Urich. Screen to Yurik. Montana back to pass. He dumps it to Yurik. He has a little room. Gain of seven. It'll bring up third and six. Joe Montana completes another pass. That's Yurik's first catch. One for seven. Third and six. Montana breaks the huddle. The Irish go up to the line of scrimmage. He has not been able to complete a pass to a wideout or a tight end. Short slant to McAfee. Montana back to pass. And he hit. Oh, jumping the rim is battle. He slipped right in front of McAfee and he picked it off. Wow, I thought that was going to be the first completion to either a wideout or a tight end uh, for Notre Dame. I was already calling him off to the races and battle jumped the route. Interception by USC. They will take over first and 10 on their 35, trailing by 17. They need to put points up on the board here. And here comes their anemic offense led by their quarterback, Sog. Simpson and Lawrence in the backfield. Lawrence is in there 7 out of 10 um, receiving. But you know what? We're going to go back to Scott. We're going to really concentrate on the run here as we have been doing it. As we're just going to go Simpson, sweep left. Here comes the juice, and there goes the juice. Loss of three on the tackle is Browner. That's his third tackle for the Fighting Irish. Notre Dame was in a 4-3 pass. Normal zone. And we can't pop a sweep there for positive yards. So it brings up second and 13. Simpson. Pitch right to the juice. There's the pitch out. OJ gets around the corner. Gain of 11. Brings up third and two. There is a little hope still in the fans here at Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum. Third and two. This might be two down territory. Run counter. Dive. Scott. And Scott gets a one yard gain. He could not pop that hole that was there briefly. Calhoun on the tackle. They were keying Simpson. We went run counter. Hoping that Scott could get those two crucial yards. He only got one. Fourth and one. And USC will go for it. Trailing by 17 here. You know they're going to be keying the juice. Oh boy. Point seven. Simpson. Off tackle right. OJ. OJ struggling. He's close. They bring out the marker and he gets it. Simpson picks up the first down. He struggled to get that yard and he got it. That was huge for USC. First and 10 on the USC 45. Simpson will come out of the game now for a moment. Uh, Grady will come in. And Scott will come out of the game. And Lawrence will come in. Lawrence. Screen to Lawrence. They finally complete something. Lawrence is off to the races. Heading for the end zone and dragged down from behind by Browner. Lawrence, a 40-yard gain on the screen. 
first and 10 USC on the Notre Dame 15. Wow. Finally, a completed pass for some good yardage. Sog is now 2 for 6 for 52 yards. Both of his completions have been to the running backs. Again, in the backfield, Lawrence and Grady. And O.J. Simpson will come back in the game. Scott will come back in the game. Play action fake run counter. Scott. Pitch left. <laughs> Scott. So it brings up second and 14. Notre Dame was in a 4 3 pass, and they still cannot bust that run there. Draw, Simpson. There's a draw. OJ up the middle for a one-yard gain. Brings up third and 13. 908 to play in the third quarter. The 1977 Fighting Irish 17. The 1967 Trojans nothing. A field goal here is only a 55% chance by Aldridge. Um, double tight end, two running backs. Simpson, they're going to be keying him. We got to pop something here. Pitch left, OJ. There's the pitch. Come on, get around the corner. OJ's got some running room. Gain of eight. Bergmeier missed the tackle on the 15. Gola tripped him up. At the 10, as Simpson thought he was in the end zone, he saw the pay dirt, but he's brought down. OJ now 19 carries, 78 yards. Fourth and 5, 820 to play. Field goal is 71%. USC needs to put points on the board. We got to kick a field goal here. Here comes Aldridge. The holder will be Holmgren. 71%. Chance of making it. The snap. 17 nothing lead. And McKay just cannot believe it. He cannot believe it. Here comes Notre Dame and their offense to take over first and 10 on their 20. After that long drive, nothing. No points to put up. Urich. And Haven's in the backfield, split backfield. Here's Montana. Read option left. Havens. Montana keeps the ball. That's a risky play. Gain a one. Crane spins him down. Durko for USC shaking up on the play. He's limping off the field. He's out for two weeks. And now their weakest link is Salness, 4 out of 10, a linebacker safety. Let's see if we can exploit that. Let's go play action fake. Quarterback rollout. McAfee. Medium slant. There's a play action fake. Montana rolls out. He fires. Encroachment. Defense. Incomplete. Five yard penalty. But offsides was USC. An encroachment five yard penalty. We shall accept it. It brings up second and four from the Notre Dame 26. Notre Dame will go with their full house backfield. This has gashed the SC defense. Of 1967. Wishbone. 
So in the backfield, you have Havens, Urich, and Mitchell, second and four. Stone still on the sideline. Mitchell. Mitchell sweep left with Mitchell. And he's got the first down. He's still on his feet and finally dragged down after an 11-yard gain by Oliver. That's Oliver's seventh tackle from his middle linebacker position. So first and 10 from the Notre Dame 37. The Fighting Irish with a commanding 17-0 lead with 7-12 to play in the third quarter. Again, they'll stay in the wishbone. Stretch. Havens. There goes Montana. There goes Havens. And a gain of two. He struggled for two tough yards. Magner on the tackle. SC was in a 4-3 basic run keying Havens. Brings up second and eight. 6.34 to play in the third quarter. And here comes Vegas Ferguson. Read option. Ferguson. Read option left. There goes Ferguson. And Ferguson is stuffed not an inch right at the line. Rosovich was there. Stood him up and the rest of his friends came. To say, how do you do to Vegas Ferguson? That's Rasovich's third tackle. And they were doubling Havens. So we went the other way with uh, Ferguson. But that front seven's very tough for USC, just like the Notre Dame front seven. Third and eight, 558 left in the third quarter. Clock running. Notre Dame up 17 nothing. They're not going to do anything too crazy here. Weimner will come in the game. And we got to get a helmet for him. I don't know how we missed not getting him a helmet. Can't play without a helmet, folks. So Weimner finds his helmet. There it is. Okay. So third and eight. Weimner, 5 out of 10 receiving. Shaw's covering him. He's 6 and 10. 6 out of 10. Um, Ferguson needs to come out of the game. Bring Urich back in. Screen to Weimer. Neutral zone infraction. Defense. Oh, Five my yard Lord. Penalty. Repeat. Third down. They just shoot themselves in the foot. Neutral zone infraction by USC. It's now third and three, and that's going to change the complexion of what we want to do here. We'll stay in the wishbone. And we're going to go stretch. Yurik out of the wishbone. There's the stretch. And Yurik has a first down. Gain of four. Magner brings him down. That's Magner's second tackle for USC. USC was a 4-3 normal man. They are playing up tight. Defensive line to the outside. They still could not stop the stretch play out of the wishbone. Clock running, 521 to play. We're going to go with a slowdown here. Montana under center. The backs in the wishbone. Weimer, Urich, and Mitchell. Mitchell, no gain. As OBS continues to unconnect and reconnect, this is probably going to be really funny to watch later on. So at second and ten. And we'll bring Stone back in the game. Here comes read option left to guess who? Stone. There's the read option. There goes Stone. And this time he is stonewalled. He only gets a gain of one. So that's the second time the USC defense has finally come up and stopped him. Stone has seven carries, 114 yards, and a touchdown. He will come out of the game. We don't want to overuse him too much. Uh, let's go to Palace. Again, another player without a helmet.
and he finds his helmet. So it's third and nine. Notre Dame in the slowdown. Palace. Screen to Palace. And he catches it, and he's got the first down and more. Gain of 15. Shaw drags him down. First and 10 on the USC 36. Notre Dame taking their time. 2.58 to play in the third quarter. They have a commanding 17-point lead. 17-0 over the Trojans in the Christmas Bowl. Notre Dame looking for their second victory. They defeated Doug Flutie and the Boston College Eagles in the Turkey Bowl. And this is the Christmas Bowl, folks. They stay in that. Wishbone. Palace will come off the field. Orsini will come in. Mitchell. Sweep left with Mitchell. Out of the wishbone. And Mitchell's got more than that. A gain of nine. He'll be a yard short. Oliver from his middle linebacker position for the Trojans gets his ninth tackle. As they are shredding this USC defense. Second and one. Again, the slowdown. They're just grinding down the USC defense. Like a giant in Jack and the Beanstalk. Ground down an Englishman's bones. So it's second and one. Mitchell's at 91. We're going to have to take Mitchell out of the game here. And we're going to bring... Haven's back in. They'll stick with the uh, wishbone. And it's going to be Haven's sweep left. And there goes Haven's, and he is stuffed. The ball comes loose. Who has it? Notre Dame recovers it. No gain on the play, but they don't lose the ball. And the ball is marked at the 27. So after the fumble recovery, it's third and one. Clock running, 122 to play. Backfield, Weimer, Orsini, and Havens. Dive to Orsini. Orsini has it up the middle. Gain of six. First and ten. No play. And that's the end of the third quarter with the Notre Dame Fighting Irish of 1977-17. The Southern California Trojans of 1967. Nothing. Fifteen more minutes of play in this game. It has been a beating for the Trojans. O.J. Simpson. Let's see what he has. Simpson. 19 carries, 78 yards, one reception, 12 yards. The Trojans have not been able to mount any type of offense. They had that one huge play by Lawrence, that 40-yard screen play, and they came away with no points when Aldridge missed the field goal. So Arsini, Havens, and Weimer in the backfield in the wishbone. Go Weimer. Pitch left. There goes Weimer. He's got the corner and more. He's going to go to the end zone. Touchdown. Out of the wishbone. Weimer on the pitch left. 23 to nothing. The booze rain down here. As Andre Ford says, looks like the Irish came to play today. They sure did. <laughs> let's watch that replay. The replay is a new function of the game. I forget I have it. So let's watch that. Here's the replay. The pitch left. Weimer. Bam. Right by. Touchdown. One more time. Pitch left. Good blocking. They bit. And then he went out. The safety. I think that was a safety. Had a shot at him. Missed the tackle. So here comes the extra point. And it's down the middle. 24 nothing. With 14.45 to play. The Fighting Irish looked... Not only have they won the Turkey Bowl, they look like they're well on their way to win the Christmas Bowl against the 67 USC Trojans. Trojans had one scoring opportunity. They missed a short field goal. Here's the return. Here's the kickoff. 
Let's see if they can break it here. Excellent return. Oh my god. So McCulloch, return of 39 yards, is brought back due to the holding by battle. USC continues to stymie their own efforts. As Brad62 says, oh, Southern California's D on the field too long, wearing down. I agree, Brad. So here it comes. And we need points, and we need points fast, but that's well, that's not happening. So let's bring in uh, Lawrence for Scott. And let's put Lawrence out wide. And let's go Simpson. Pitch right. He averages 5.2 on this. Simpson will pick up three, and he's pushed out of bounds. We'll play the hurry up. Tackle by Becker. He forced Simpson out of bounds. Notre Dame was in a 4-3 basic. Normal man one blitzer. Again, we're going to go Simpson. Pitch right. There's the pitch. Simpson. Gain of three. Becker on the tackle again. That's his fourth tackle. Third down conversion con conversions. For the Trojans, two for nine. It is third and four. Screen to Lawrence. 44% chance of making it. And Lawrence, another nice play. Gain of 16. Restick on the stop. First and 10. They continue in the hurry up. Stop. Uh, Sogs brings the USC offense right to the line of scrimmage. Screen. Lawrence. And Sog tries to take off running, but he is sacked for a four-yard loss by Calhoun. Sog is now 3 of 7 for 68 yards. That's Calhoun's first sack. Clock running. 13-13 to play in the game. Trojans down by 24. Drake. Long out. Lawrence. Hot. And Sog takes off running again. He gains five yards. Brought down by Hemkritter. And that's Hemkritter's fourth tackle. So it's third and ten. Third and nine, excuse me. Clock running. 12.49 to play. USC maintains their hurry-up offense in this Christmas Bowl. They're trailing by 24. Screen to Simpson. OJ has it, and gain a nine, first down. 12.20 to go. They're going to go long fly, going for broke to McCulloch. Back to pass to Sog, he has some time, he fires, incomplete. Bradley was all over him. Pass interference, yes. defense, automatic, we'll take it. first down. So a pass interference, it's going to be... First and 10 on the Notre Dame 28. The clock is stopped. They went deep. They didn't get the catch, but they got the flag. So it's first and 10 on the Notre Dame 28. Simpson and Lawrence in the backfield, split backfield. The wideouts are uh, McCulloch, Drake. The tight end is Miller. And we're going to go Miller, short hitch. Sock back to pass. They fire, and it is complete at the first catch by a wide receiver tight end on the short hitch first and 10 on the Notre Dame 18 clock running hurry up by the USC offense 11:45 to play in the game Lawrence short in the flat Sog under pressure and he's sacked Sog has been sacked four times Fry is credited with that sack. Second and 13, clock still running, 11.06 to play. Lawrence will come out of the game. Scott will come in. Scott will stay in the block. Okay. Short 
and actually we're not going to go short and quick. Miller, medium slant, Punch! saw it back to pass, has time, he throws over the middle, it's caught. Miller, gain is 16, brought down by Hemfurter. First and goal from the Notre Dame 5. Again, USC will go to the hurry up. Miller's at 89%. He's staying in that game. Okay, play action fake. Run counter. Pitch right. Simpson. <coughs> Come on, get that corner, OJ. Touchdown, OJ Simpson. He is in. USC is on the board. They were horribly fooled on that place. Finally, Southern California scores a touchdown. They don't. Sometimes they don't show you the, the play when they're hor so horribly fooled. So what happened there? Hurry up, offense! McCulloch is doubled at the line. Sog calls out the signals. Pitch right to Simpson. Simpson's in for the touchdown. So OJ gets the uh, touchdown. Twenty-two carries, eighty-nine yards, and a score. Um. We should have the option to go for two, but I must not have had that set up in the rules, so they'll kick the extra point. And he just barely makes it. It's 24 to 7. And I'm assuming, because I cannot control them, and kicking, I'm assuming they're going to kick an onside. We're going to watch for the onside. Here's, no, they're kicking away. Wow. And the return by Notre Dame. A return of 12 yards. By Browner, tackled by Snow. 9.49 to play. Notre Dame has a commanding 24-7 lead. And the ball will not go in the air now. Orsini and Waymer in the backfield. And we're going to go back to our full house backfield. Which will bring in Havens. And we're not going to go to the wishbone this time. We're going to give him a different look with the full house, not the wishbone. You know, off tackle right. Orsini. Hot. Off tackle right to Orsini. And he's got a hole. Gain of six. Be second and four. Notre Dame goes to the slowdown. They will take their time coming out of the huddle. 17 point lead with 9.39 to play. Here comes Montana. Breaks from the huddle. Again, full house backfield behind Montana. Run counter, off tackle left, Weimer, here goes Weimer, he only gets one yard, and Havens was shaken up on the plane, he goes out, he'll be out for 10 plays, clock still running, it's under 8.55 to go, third and three, USC has to come up with a huge stop here, Ferguson comes into the game, so it's Orsini, Ferguson, and Weimer, Dive to Ferguson. Full house backfield. And up the middle goes Vegas Ferguson. And he's got a tremendous run there. Gain of 19. Finally dragged down from behind by Shaw, the outside linebacker. And that's his third tackle for USC. The Trojans were in a 4-4 stack run tight man. 8.45 to play. Again, Notre Dame, Notre Dame goes to the slowdown. It's Orsini. Ferguson will come out of the game. Mitchell will come in. And Orsini and Waymer will come out of the game. Orsini will come out. Yurik will go in. Full house backfield. Waymer is going to go out. I don't want to use Stone anymore. Um, as I overused Ferguson in the first game. Uh, Palace will come in. 24-7, 8.45 to play in the Christmas Bowl here at Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum. Notre Dame of 1977 with the lead over the 67 USC Trojans. Let's go trap left with Palace. There goes Palace. Gain of two. 8.01 to play. Clock still going tick, 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 tick. USC needs a stop here or a turnover. Second and eight. 8.01 to play. Uh, 
run counter, off tackle left, Urich. <coughs> Smothered for a one-yard loss. Crane was there with a big hit. The defensive tackle. That's his sixth tackle for the USC Trojans. And now comes up a huge third and nine. Seven sixteen to play. Again, the Fighting Irish in a slowdown. They will not put the ball in the air here. They will now move to a wishbone. And it will be read option right. Read option right to Palace. There's the read option. There goes Palace. And he picks up six yards. He'll be short by three yards. But now the clock's down to 626 to play. And here comes the punt team. We'll stay in the slowdown. Rest it. Comes out with the punt team. Battle is deep for USC. Here's the punt. And we're going to play Let It Roll. Get in the end zone. Get in the end zone. Get in. Oh, you son of a gun. It rolls dead at the 13. So with 5.36 to play, Southern Cal trailing by 17. Backfield is Scott and Simpson. But Lawrence will come in back in the game for Scott. I don't think they're going to bite on any play action fakes. I think they're going to place a deeper zone. Is my Well, they have such good players, they don't have to play zone. Um, we're going to go Simpson. Screen to the juice. They set the screen. Incomplete. Calhoun was chasing Sog all over the place. He couldn't set his feet, and he throws the ball away. So it's second and 10 from the USC 13. Miller, the tight end. Short slant to Miller. Sog takes off running. He feels the pressure. He scrambles for three yards, dropped by Rustic. That's Rustic's third tackle. With 5.18 to play, USC comes to the line of scrimmage in the hurry up, third and seven. Screen to Lawrence. There goes Lawrence, and he has the first down, gain of eight. They pick up the flag first and ten. Again, they quickly come to the line of scrimmage. Long fly, McCulloch. Sog back to pass. He has time. He dumps it down. Lawrence could not handle it. The deep man was covered. Notre Dame was in a 4-3 basic. Normal zone. Keying Simpson. The blitzers put pressure on Sog. He tried to dump it down. So it's 4-32 to play in the game. 24-7 Notre Dame. Uh, Miller at 89%. Let's take one more shot with Miller. Ah, boy, let's do screen. Lawrence. Hunt. Here comes the blitz, and Sog fumbled. Ball's loose. And Notre Dame recovers it. A big hit by... Uh, big hit by... Uh, Hamtrichter, and Golik recovers the fumble. So with 4.23 to play... In the Christmas Bowl here at Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum, it looks as good as done and a victory for the 1977 Notre Dame Fighting Irish as they have a 24-7 lead over the 1967 Southern California Trojans and O.J. Simpson. O.J. Simpson has the only touchdown for the Trojans, though. Split backfield of Urich and Havens. Dive play. Havens. There goes Havens. Gain a one. Illegal chop block. Offense. 15-yard penalty. Getting a little snippy towards the end of the game. A chop block. 15-yard penalty. Personal foul. will be first and 25 now in the US 30, USC 32. 4-16 to play. Sweep left. Urich. 
There goes Yurek. He gets the corner. Gain of five. Dragged down by Crane. That's Crane's seventh tackle from his defensive tackle position for the USC Trojans. Notre Dame goes to the slowdown. Second and 20. They're going to go to Havens. Pitch right. There's the pitch. Havens, three yards. Brought down by Hayho. That's Hayho's third tackle. 319 to play in the game. Third and 17. Okay. Havens will come out of the game. He's at 95. Mitchell will come back in. No. We just want Mitchell to come in there. And Yurik will come out. And we're going to bring in... Palace. No. We just want to bring him in now. So the backfield is Palace and Mitchell. 30 and 17. Sweep right. Palace. Here comes a sweep. And he gets around the corner and is pushed out of bounds. He should have stayed in bounds. Gain of 11. The clock stops. Fourth and six. I should have clicked on stay in bounds. Field goal is 66%. And here comes Reeve, the kicker. Let's see if he can make this. The holders, Monroe. Here's the snap. The placement, the kick, and it's good. 27 to 7 with 224 to play in the game. Notre Dame will crush the USC Trojans by 20, unless the Trojans can put some more points on the board. Here's the kickoff. Here comes a return for USC. And he gets a really good return of 23 yards. Tackled by uh, Boschka for the Fighting Irish. So with 219 to play. Lawrence will go out wide. Simpson will go out wide. Sog will go in shotgun. Lawrence. Medium cross. Sog back to pass. He fires to Lawrence. It's caught. And that is a touchdown. A quick strike for the TD. And it's 27 to 13. Here comes the extra point, and it's good. So it's 27 14. We're going to look for the onside kick. Here comes the onside kick. Notre Dame recovers it. And we're at the two minute warning. Stone is out there. He doesn't have hands of stones. He recovers the ball. 155 to play. 27-14. Notre Dame, we discovered something too late. That's what happens when you don't play as teams for the whole year. And I'm just playing. I'm figuring out stuff as I go. And Lawrence obviously is a good weapon to have. And I might play. I'm going to add one more team. And I might play each game again to give every team another crack at it. I don't know, though. All righty, so 155 to go in the Christmas Bowl. Montana's still on under center. And now we're going to go with um, not and Dover. And... Dover does not have a helmet. That's not good. Gotta get him a helmet. Let's go to lineups. It's funny because I cannot stand the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. <laughs> I can't. I'm playing as both offensive, but I. It's, this is fun playing this way because I like figuring out how to, you know, score. It just took me, like I said, when you don't play as a team, I'm trying to figure it out. And Lawrence, but to be honest with you, we can't overuse him. 
So, but he was a factor here. All right, so here it goes. It's Mitchell and Dover. I don't want Mitchell in the game. I don't want Mitchell in the game. I want not in the game. Yes. Okay. Another player without a helmet. Son, get your helmet. You're in the game. Oh, no, 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 no. Here we go. All right, minute 55 to go, and let's give the... You know what? Let's do run safe. Stay in bounds. Um, let's give the ball the knot. And let's go off tackle left. He picks up two yards. USC uses a timeout. Second and eight, and let's go Dover. Trap right. <laughs> Just barely gets back to the line of scrimmage. The Trojans call their second timeout. They have one left. Third and eight, a minute 44 to go. I'm going to go back to not. Off tackle left. There's the off tackle, and he's got a little running room there. Three tough yards. Clock's running. They're not going to call timeout. You know what we're going to do? They want to be sneaky, huh? We're going to bring the clock down to 56 seconds and call timeout. Okay, so it's fourth and five. We're not going to kick a field goal from here. We're just going to... Uh, Give the ball to Dover on a trap right. Yes. Hot. There goes Dover, and he is brought down, met by everyone from that front seven. A loss of one, the tackle by Hayhoe. That's his fourth turnover on downs, but only 50 seconds to play. And Lawrence and Simpson will both go out wide. Miller will go out wide, the tight end. Sog will be in shotgun. He's going to look for Lawrence. Let's see if we can burn him on the uh, medium cross again. Here's a shotgun snap. And not this time. He is sacked by Fry. They will call timeout. That's Fry. Second sack. Seven yard loss. Uh, Eleven yard loss. I'm sorry. So 42 seconds left. Simpson and Lawrence out wide. Long fly to Lawrence. There's a snap. Sog looking deep. He dumps it down. Why are you dumping it down? Through the hands. So we're going to do um, quarterback must pass. Simpson and Lawrence out wide. Bomb post. McCulloch. Hut, hut. And fumble! The ball is loose. Sogs was hit. Clock's running. Long fly. McCulloch. Yes. And the clock runs out. So the winner of the Christmas Bowl between the 1977 Notre Dame Fighting Irish and the 1967 Southern California Trojans Goes to the Fighting Irish, 27 to 14. Oof! What a game. Stone was that killer. Let's go to the box score quick, and we will call it a stream. Let's fit that to the screen here. Okay, there's the box score. We'll go over it quickly. Joe Montana was 4 of 10 for 66 yards. Uh, he threw one pick. He had one pass 25 yards or more. 
and uh, was sacked once. His rating, 23.3. Both defenses were really dominant. It wasn't until we went to that wishbone with Notre Dame that we put up 27 points. And there was also the fumble recovery on the defensive end for Notre Dame. So USC only gave up. Well, only gave. Still got 20 points. Sog was 8 of 15, 165 yards, one interception, one touchdown. He was sacked seven times. His quarterback rating actually went up 86.6. Stone, player of the game, seven carries, 114 yards. That's 16.3 yards a carry. Uh, Touchdown, his long was 39 yards. In total... Notre Dame rushed 44 times for 250 yards, 5.7 yards a carry, and two touchdowns. Again, Stone had a touchdown, and Weimer had a touchdown. Again, all out of the um, wishbone or the full house backfield. O.J. Simpson, 22 carries, 89 tough yards. He averaged 4 yards a carry and a touchdown. Lawrence, leading receiver for USC. He was targeted five times. He had four catches, 118 yards, averaging 29.5 yards a reception. His long, 54 yards, and that was for a touchdown. So in total, the USC Trojans, 31 carries, 106 yards, 3.4 yards with one touchdown. Uh, They had eight receptions for 165 yards. That was 20.6 yards a reception, but most of that is skewed on big plays by Lawrence. That's about it. Let's quickly just go. Let's see who had the sacks for Notre Dame. They had seven sacks. And Fry had two. Golick had one. Hem Critter had two. Calhoun had two. So there's your, your, uh, my God, they had more than that. Yeah, seven sacks. Two, 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 one. Interception. Browner had an interception. Uh. Leading tackler for Notre Dame. Fry and Golick both had seven. Fry, definitely a defensive player of the game. Uh, Seven tackles, two sacks, one uh, stuff, and two hurries, and a forced fumble. For USC, the leading tacklers were Crane and Oliver, both with nine apiece. They had one sack that went to Hayho, and they had one interception battle and one forced fumble crane. For HaHa's sake, I just want to look at a really bad USC kicker. Where's the kicker? Where is the kicker? I want to see the the kicks he missed. Kick returns. Kicking. Aldridge for USC. Oh, Notre Dame was the guy. I'm sorry. Reeve was two for four. His long was 30. He made three extra points, so he had nine points. Aldridge was 0 for 1. He missed that chip shot. Could have made it interesting. Would have been 27 to 17. Might have made it slightly more interesting. Let's go to scoring, and that's how we'll end it. So Notre Dame scored 24 points before USC finally put a touchdown on the board. And it went first quarter, 829 mark, stone nine-yard touchdown run out of the wishbone, Reeve kick, then a Reeve 23-yard field goal. That made it 10-0. Then Bergmeier on the Notre Dame defense picked up a fumble and went 35 yards for a touchdown. Reeve kick, 17-0. That was in the second quarter. That's how the half would end, 17-0. Uh, there was no scoring in the third uh, quarter. In the fourth, both uh, SC actually won the fourth quarter, 14-10. Uh, Notre Dame would score one more time in the game. A... I'm sorry, two more times in the game. A Weimer 21-yard run, Reeve kick. That made it 24-0. The Trojans get on the board. O.J. Simpson, five-yard run on the pitch out. Aldridge kick, 24-7. Notre Dame puts a field goal up with 2.24 to play. 
and it was 27 to 7. And then Sog hit Lawrence, the uh, running back, went out wide for a 54-yard pass on the medium, uh, medium cross, and that's how the game ended, 27-14. Uh, Red Sox fans saying thank you to Brad62, Andre Ford, Johnny Giants Bane, JD, and Manuel Christian Rivera. Thank you very much for watching the Christmas Bowl. Once again, the victory goes to the 1977 Fighting Irish of Notre Dame over the 1967 USC Trojans 27 to 14. So, in our little college games we've played, we've seen Notre Dame beat Doug Flutie in the 84 Boston College Eagles in the Turkey Bowl from Fenway Park, and now we have witnessed Joe Montana and the Fighting Irish defeat OJ Simpson and the Trojans in the Christmas Bowl from Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum. Thank you as always. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Happy New Year, health, happiness. Till next time, take care. Bye-bye. God bless and peace.